Welcome back, thanks for tuning in. This is where we left off in part one of this project. I was about to dowel pin these corners together and my corner clamp and my dowel jig, well, they interfere with each other. So I had a couple of choices. I could have made a new jig, uh, not too big a project really, but it was a bit time consuming and I didn't really want to do that because, well, this is a specific situation and it may not come up again. So. I figured I would do something different. So this is my general saw stop clamp for my crosscut sled. I made it a little while ago, but it is still quite square. So what I thought I would do instead is use a couple of clamps and just hold everything together using that. And then of course use the dowel jig to uh, drill the holes. So uh, that is my plan. It worked out really quite well actually. Uh, it wasn't terribly difficult. The first one obviously is always the you know, one where you fiddle around with it a little bit, uh, do a little bit more than actually was necessary to make sure everything was square and tight and all that sort of stuff. But as it turns out, once I've done the first one and a couple others, it, it was actually quite speedy. It didn't really take any extra time or anything. And uh, obviously the towel pins went in nice and straight, which is <laughs> which is the important bit. So there you go, it's all held firmly. I'm going to triple, quadruple check this thing, and then just going to drill a couple holes. Now, I am not going to glue any of this together at, the, at this point. It's all going to be just loosely held, and the reason for that is I'm not entirely certain that uh, all these slots I've cut are of the appropriate size, and, you know, if things might be a little tight, then I have to readjust things. And this way I can like take things apart and fiddle and adjust and do all the stuff I need to do. So there you go. That's the plan. And just gonna put them in here just to hold the position and then rinse and repeat for the other three corners. It's like I said, it didn't take long. Uh, it worked out well. And uh, like I said, it's as it progressed, I got an awful lot quicker at this, as you can see here. Uh, anyways, going forward, I think this is perfectly fine for this sort of thing. I may come up with a better corner system for this. I mean, this one works really well, but, uh, you know, it is older. And, of course, at some point in time it may warp or whatever. Oh, obviously, I can just check with a set square. With anyway, just a general thought. So this is the last corner. I'm going to uh, set these. And you'll notice on the drill bit I don't have a depth marker yet because uh, well this is just the preliminaries uh, later on I'm gonna put a piece of tape on there and make sure I drill them all the appropriate depth but again this is just like I said setting stuff up and getting it ready for uh, the next step because I wanted this all together for measuring where all the little cross dividers are gonna go and you know I could you know do it with just general math <laughs> and just drawing out a piece of paper but I'm kind of a visual sort of guy. I like to see how things are going to look. And at this point, I could have also you know, decided on a different design. Unlikely. Uh, but it was just something that I need you know, to have a look at first before I do anything. And this is a project I've been working on for a very, very long time. Getting my extension for my table saw and having everything ready that I can... Uh, cut longer pieces and as you can see I have gotten absolutely no further whatsoever So what I do is I have a piece of a quarter inch angle aluminum that fits nicely in this position I put it there. I measure I remeasure uh, make sure that the distance from the Piece of aluminum to the front of the blade and the back of the blade are the same uh, as you can see it works out really quite well but it takes probably about two to four minutes per slice or sorry per setup to set this all up it works uh, unfortunately because it works and the fact that I am kind of lazy in how I do things uh, uh, it's no longer a necessity for me to uh, get this going further so I haven't done it yet I do plan on doing it because I mean if I'm doing any uh, projects that require a lot of resets on larger pieces like this does it just it takes up too much time and that's kind of important so but as you can see it cuts nice and square and that is probably the most important part and this is the back so this is the back of uh, the main uh, shell for the the box 
and I'm going to set this now in place and you know make sure that uh, everything is nice and square and tight and this is going to hold things in place again for when I do the final measurements for all the little drawers or sorry the dividers for the drawers As you can see, it fits nice. Uh, well, I mean, it's just a simple matter of measuring, so it better fit nice. And unfortunately, I did all this setup, and I wanted to show you the uh, jig in action for setting the, the top in place. I'm only going to drill uh, two holes on one side, two on the other, just to hold it square. Uh, but I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> okay, man, it's been a while since I've done any recording, so... Uh, Small details, uh, so we're going to skip over to after I've done those four holes, and as you can see, it's holding everything nicely in place, and again, I am not uh, gluing anything in, uh, not yet. This is just an early days yet on this, and I want to make sure that uh, everything is uh, properly set up, just in case I have to make adjustments, so there you go. This is the basics for the shell. That's all there is to it. I'm going to now... Uh, show you how it all fit together as far as angles and everything and then it's a matter now of cutting all the individual dividers there's gonna be six of those so there you go um, the front uh, groove for where the door slides down it's nicely angled as you see it is just a shade about a sixteenth of an inch uh, further out than the uh, frame of the box it'll just slide down nicely I think I did in the end pick a different quarter inch piece of plywood for this so I ended up uh, widening that groove but uh, again that was just I get part of the reason for uh, not uh, gluing everything in place initially because I have uh, a bunch of uh, quarter inch ply and uh, some of it is just ever so slightly different in size depending on what the source is. So there you go, I'm going to have saw my saw stop there. Uh, it's just setting it for the total inside uh, length, uh, sorry, the length of the, of the cross cut pieces, the dividers, uh, including the grooves. But one of the things I did wrong, I'll get to that in a second, uh, is I did not allow for the groove when I did the measuring for where to cut the slots. You'll see how that progresses. So this is my anchored on both sides uh, frame for making sure when I'm doing these long thin strips that they are uh, of equal uh, you know, width all the way along. I really like this thing and it's very secure and sets things up really nicely. So now we're back to just a single part and uh, this saw is now set at half the height of the drawer plus just a tiny amount. And this is how simple it is to uh, cut the grooves for this. It is, um, well, like I said, it is set up so that they are uh, bilaterally symmetrical. The only groove I can't, of course, cut is the one in the center. Uh, that has to be set up separately. So I'm just going to move this over a quarter inch. Uh, and I'm going to do this a little bit differently because it doesn't matter if these drawers are, or sorry, the dividers, I keep saying drawers, the dividers are uh, a little bit uh, looser. Uh, it's uh, not important because I don't want them to bind and I have to recut them anyway, so I'm going to make it uh, probably about a 30 seconds of an inch uh, wider than it needs to be. Uh, again, it won't really show up, so it's not important. So I'm going to set these all up, and you can see here that is the little piece in the left in the middle, and it's going to put it down and cut that out and then I'm gonna set these all up and this is pretty much where the end of this video is going to end because as I mentioned earlier uh, when I had originally set up the um, the first cut so the first cut where is they're all supposed to mesh is set at four inches which is the length of the individual drawers that are going to go in this and fortunately I did not allow for that groove so they are a quarter inch out of alignment, all of them. Uh, I can actually force it together because uh, it is just quarter inch ply, but oh, I was so annoyed. Anyway, um, it's all set up now. These pieces are total garbage because, so as you see here, four and a quarter inches there. And then we move over to the other one and 
four inches. So there you go. That's most annoying. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Leave comments. I'll sort this problem out and get it all cut properly. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.